Hey guys, welcome to Open House. Today I've got Philip Allen in the house and we're gonna be talking about showing specialists. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Philip Allen, it's a pleasure to have you on Open House. Thanks man, it's great to be here. It's been a long time coming. Philip, um, it's actually really cool because from before you got your license to now, through many, many transactions, like we've we've been there for like those steps. And it's so cool to see the transition and see the you like blossom into the awesome agent that you are. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, I wanna let Philip share with you guys a little bit about who he is and how he got here. Okay, so um we could go on and on about who I am and, and the different facets of who I am. Um, one, I'm not a lover. I work for Wait, properties. What? But I'm not a lover. Are you kidding so, me? <laughs> <laughs> Philip Allen is the name. No, and that's that's not very important. But um, it's neat to work with Lovett Properties and the Lovett family. Um, I'm very grateful to have this position on the team and to work with these guys every day. Um, Andrew specifically, he's been been here with me from from day one. Um, I knew him before I even sought to be an agent and through the the licensing process and all these tests and exams all the way to now and here we are filming yes um, so thankful for this guy um so yeah that's that's it's definitely like we put time in the trenches together and i think that it builds like friendship and, and like it's a cool relationship because i i've got your back and i know you got my back it's a very cool dynamic Thing that I think a lot of like real estate teams and real estate companies don't have as much because they're not as invested in like each other. Right. You lived in Georgia. I lived in so Georgia. So what yeah. was the like main? You were there. You were working. You were married. What was the main draw to pull you to like real estate specifically? Hmm. Okay. So I guess I never thought that I would grow up to be a realtor. I never I never dreamt of that as a kid. Um, however, now that I'm here, it's it's very obviously, uh, it's very obvious that it's the perfect fit. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I do my job well, and I love to do it, and that right. that sort of blend of of effectiveness and happiness is great. Yes, it's great to have together. Let's jump into some questions. So these are some questions that people have had. Okay, here we go. Um, question number one is why does a showing assistant bring value um, to a client? Phil. So I guess to start that off, we might just ask the question, what is a showing specialist? And it's, it's more than just showing, showing properties. Um, I like to, to say this, it's kind of funny. Um, a monkey could open a lockbox. So it's a lot, more to, uh, a lot more to a showing specialist than just opening a house for a client to see. There's a lot of search management that goes into it. And um, so a client you know, has a buyer's consultation with Bryant and they sign agency and they explain to him, you know, what are, what are they looking for in a house? I need these, I need these, I need these, I want these things. Um, and once they have that, they go under agency, it's then up to me to take all of their criteria, build a search, help them find the house they want. And when they're ready to put an offer on it, we send them back to Bryant and then he gets them squared away um, and under contract. Right. And then on to the next step. So that's right. sort of a, an overview of my portion of um, this team. Yeah. So the showing specialist, like, um, a little bit more context around around that. You your your main job is to get our clients into the right house. Correct. Right. And so, uh, some people might think, you know, well, isn't that what every agent does? And you know that, you know, this and that. Like, well, my agent does that. This agent does that. What makes it unique to where you know if someone's working with Bryant, say. And he hands he hands that person off to you to show them property, you know, why is that so valuable? Well, um, Doug always says a team of specialists is always capable of outperforming a team of generalists, and uh, I think that is very true. And so, if if this one thing that I focus on, showing property, search management, that little facet of the whole big transaction, and all that's involved in it, um, then I'm going to be doing what I do very well because that's the thing that I do. And I don't have to focus on or be good at all of the other things. Right. It's great to know how that stuff works, 
um, but that's not what I do from day, you know, on a daily mm -hmm. basis. So um, it's valuable because on a, on a team and with the showing specialist, he focuses on showing properties and building searches and finding the right houses. And I can put a lot more time into doing those things right. than say, you know, independent Joe over there who does everything. Right, right. So availabil your availability to get someone into a house very fast. Right. As opposed to an agent who has multiple clients who's working maybe listings, maybe, you know, working with a buyer, negotiating a deal, their attention is so divided, you come in with laser sharp focus and you're able to get someone into the house very quickly. Right. And your experience sort of is elevated at that point. I, you know, I've been able to do this for many transactions, right. um, more, more in one year than, than some agents are able to do as well. And that's not to brag, that's just to say, you're, you, you get experience more quickly yes. when you do the same thing. Um, if you do one transaction by yourself from A to Z, you've done all of the little steps one time. And if you do that again, you've done it twice. Right. You do it again, you've done it three times. Well, you know, I'm not doing the entire transaction by myself, so I've done this one thing, and then I've done it again, and right. again, and again. Right. So there's the confidence that you build over time, especially, you know, joining a team, and I'm the new guy, and all these other things. You know, what is real estate? How do I, how do I get in there and do really well? Um, it's, it's good to help build that confidence and, um, and roll with it. Yeah, it's so good. And it, it, you, you are absolutely tailor-made for what you do. So it is cool to see that, like, connection there. Um, so question number two, um, we kind of touched on this a little bit, but how does your, how does your job function? And I'll make it more specific. How does your, um, explain to everyone watching, I think I know, how does your job function on a, on a daily basis? What does it look like? Cool. Well, to begin to answer that question, I'd like to start off um, with tying back into um, an earlier question about who I am. So uh, it's, it's been joked about that. Philip Allen's passionate about everything. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily true that I'm passionate about everything. Um, I'm not. I'm not interested in literally everything. However, all of the interests that I do have, I am. I am all or nothing, all in. Um, and and a good example of that would be uh, my wife and I. We just moved, um, and our new little baby. Hey, Eli. Um, we just moved. Hey, Daddy. And that's right. <laughs> not yet. He's he's giggles right now, but uh, words are, words are coming. Anyway, we we need a new trash can for the kitchen. So I know most of the people that I know would just go pick up a trash can. And who I am in, in everything that I do is, why do I get this trash can over that trash can? What's the best thing about trash cans in general? What do we want in a trash can? What do we want to spend on a trash can? Um, what trash can is gonna work best for us? And then I'm gonna do a lot of research and I'm gonna go all you know, over and out and, and above and beyond to, to make sure that when we buy a trash can, we bought the best trash can for us. And if I'm going to do that with my trash can and with, you know, with any purchase, the toothbrushes, you know, do I buy a toothbrush? Do I buy a pack of toothbrushes? Do I buy a, a toothbrush that lasts a lot long? You know, thinking about everything in that way to some people is outrageous. To me, it's just how I do everything. So when it comes to, you know, how does my job function, when it comes to the, the small details and, you know, what is it that's important to you for a house? Um, I'm going to put myself in those same shoes and in, and in my time when I'm not with you when I'm not looking at a property um, I'm gonna be trying to put myself you know my mind in your mind and say okay based on this information what are these clients really looking for and how can I how can I get them that um, while excluding everything else that's not an option and and paying very close attention to anything and everything that there is that you know might interest you or might not interest you um, you know, what, what are these clients like? What do they not like? What do they want? Um, can I find that? Can I figure out a way to make that happen? Mm -hmm. if, that, if that makes a little sense. That makes so much sense. And I, and I think that that's really cool because it, it, if, I, if I tried to do what you do, my, I would like explode. I couldn't do it. I, I could not do that. And I think that that brings so much value to a client, kind of with the previous question. Um, and it definitely, like, how does your job function? It's all about, you know, this is what this person wants. This is also what this person needs. Right. How do you find that intersection between want and need to where it has the utility, the necessity, and it just, like, is perfect for them? Mm -hmm. And with, with being a showing specialist on a team and focusing on just that one 
one little area, um, I have the, the time and availability. I mean, there might be agents out there who, who are like me in the way that they think and do, um, uh, but they, they don't have time to sit there and, and break down every single detail of everything. And, and I don't know that I'm very detail-oriented in everything. Perhaps I am. But, you know, if you don't have time to do it, it doesn't matter if you, if you want to do it or not. You know, right. If you can't do it, you can't do it. And so either you don't do it or you work with your clients until... Right. Yeah. So it's, that, it's nice to have that. That definitely yeah. speaks to anyone that is, you know, not a real estate agent. Someone who is more, you know, this is maybe if you're looking at teams and this is how they're structured, maybe this brings a little bit of insight to why someone would have a showing specialist specifically. Um, but let's let's take off the consumer hat for a second and let's put on the agent hat. Um, so for an agent who's a buyer's agent who loves working with buyers, maybe you're a general generalist and you do everything. Um, what is the value, like, what have you seen the value to Bryant? Because you work directly with Bryant right now, mm -hmm. primarily. Um, what have you seen as far as his workload? How has it changed his business? Um, that's a very interesting question. And for me, um, coming, coming into the world of real estate and joining this team, um, at first I sort of had this, when you don't really know what to expect and your mind starts filling in the gaps, um, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to take over some of the responsibilities that Brian is focusing on and allow him to have some more free time. Because I know Brian, he doesn't sleep very often. You know, he hardly has a, an opportunity to eat a meal. Um, so I thought it's going to be great for me to join because I'm going to be able to help him have that. Um, what I've learned is, um, you know, Brian's personality, he may have free time now that, that I'm here, or I may have freed up some of those things that, that he was doing. But he's just filled it in with even more of what he was doing before, which is great. Um, he, he's very good at what he does, and, and he focuses the, to the same extent I feel like I do, all the, the minor details and what's, what's most important. How can I do my job the best way possible? Um, I'm always looking for an opportunity to learn. Brian is too. And, and he, he's filled in all the gaps that I opened up. Um, and that was very, I guess, humbling to me to say, for him to say, wow, you know, I, I now don't have to focus as much on that piece of the business. And so what am I going to do with it instead? I'm going to fill it in with, you know, an opportunity to, to lead generate. Exactly. Yeah, lead generate, meet with a client, meet with this person. Um, I know that statistically Brian's business, having you on board, you know, will double. Right. And that's, at least. that's just from, from me taking away some of the things that he was doing before. Um, and, and, you know, then my goal as well is to add to that on my own. What, what am I contributing to the team? What is he now able to, to contribute to the team with me, with me being here? How much more time do I give him now that I'm here to do those things? But at the same time, how much time do I have to be able to do the exact same thing, lead generate, try to bring even more business to the team? So there's, there's value kind of coming from both sides. Yeah. This next question I really like. Um, I'm going to start this one off. And then I'll pass it off to you. It's real quick. Um, what is your what what has been your favorite transaction and why? Okay, um, I'm gonna take this, there, yeah. and then I'm gonna pass it to you. Okay, my favorite transaction was actually I'm gonna exclude names to protect the innocent. Good. It was actually not a very expensive home. This was maybe a hundred and fifty thousand um, dollar townhome, um, which reminded me of another transaction which I really liked. But this one specifically. Um, it was, I was working for a client who was a very detail oriented, extremely detail oriented, told me every detail of the home, whether or not I wanted to know. And it was one of the most difficult transactions because the amount of work that went into it, um, it took up so much time, long story, way short. It was right when I was getting into real estate and right when you're getting into real estate, most of the time you'll do anything to secure business, right? So I would go over at 6 a.m. and turn off an alarm for a showing at 8. Then I would go back over and turn the alarm back on. When winter came, I would turn on the drip of the faucet and then I would turn it off morning and night and sold it pretty quickly, thank the Lord, but... I remember, I remember every detail of this transaction and every single drive down to this place because 
There's something about um, the amount of work that went into it that made it so gratifying. Actually, this is kind of funny, but at the closing table, the client was a past real estate agent, which made it sweeter because um, he or she <laughs> understood the business and understood that she could get a referral fee for that transaction. So she ended up getting a check that was bigger than mine <laughs> at the end of the day. But the labor that went into that transaction, I'll never forget it. I learned more on that single transaction than any other. Take it away. Favorite transaction. That's, that's uh, before I get to that, that's a great, a great example of um, one of the things that we value the most on this team and that is service. You know, we, we are not out there chasing commission checks. We are out there to go above and beyond for our clients because that's how we can serve. And we want to do that to the best of our abilities. If that means we drive out there at 6 a.m., turn on the faucet to keep the pipes from bursting in, in the wintertime, then that's what we do. If we spend, you know, eight hours solid previewing properties just because there might be an opportunity for our clients to, you know, want to, want to see one, want to buy it, you know, we'll, we'll just do anything that we can um, and go, go out of our way. So that's a great example of yeah. that. Um, now, ask this question again. Okay, so favorite transaction and, and why? I love this question because it, it first gives me an opportunity to um, bring up a topic um, of emotion. So favorite transaction, you know, we all have favorite things, favorite movies, favorite colors. Um, typically, those things are the things that make us happy. Well, happiness is an emotion, and we're supposed to to be, we're taught to be emotionless. Wow, I, I did this at the wrong time, at the wrong word. Um, <laughs> we, we are taught to not get wrapped up in emotion when it comes to the transaction, and that's definitely valuable to our client because this is a huge purchase. M most likely the biggest purchase um, that they'll make um, in their life and, unless they buy a house that's even more expensive down the road. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's not very much room for error here, and we, we want to try to avoid it as much as possible and they're going to be emotional. The client's going to be emotional. Even if they're not the emotional type of person, they may say they're not emotional. And it, it doesn't really matter if they are or they aren't. The point is, um, we don't need to, to share in that emotion and, and get all wrapped up because we need, to be, we need to be solid. We need to be there for them in order to, you know, it, to help curb that that uneasy feeling that they might be having, that stress. Mm -hmm. We don't need that. It, it can you know, affect the way that we do our jobs in a negative way. So, so how, do you, how do you have favorite transactions and, and how are you happy or how are you sad? Um, and how do you sort of separate the two? Well, sharing in the happiness that your client you know, shares, there's a difference between that and, and getting all wrapped up and being emotional about the situation. Um, if, if, we don't, if, if our client doesn't get the house that they wanted to get, you know, we move on and, and we're going to carry them if that's what's necessary. Um, but when they close, there's just this sort of peace and this joy. And so I guess the answer is what has been my favorite transaction? Um, there was a couple who it was their first time buying a house. And I can sort of relate to that. I could, I could feel like I could put myself in their shoes. Um, and and I see everything that they're they're looking for, and you know we're we're trying to find this house. They look at their budget, and this house, you know, it was in a great location. Uh, the price was just outside their budget, um, and you know the opportunity for investment, all these different little pieces of that. Uh, it just it just wasn't going to work out because it's simply you know too expensive. So look at we look into the situation and. Ultimately, to make a long story short again, um, is they wound up getting the house for a lot less than it was listed. And it's not just that that made it my favorite transaction. I just felt like these, these clients really deserved um, a great house. And, and I'm so excited for them because not only do they get to have a great house um, to live in and enjoy while they're there, but it's such a great invest, an investment property that you know they're going to enjoy so much while they're there, but when, when it comes time to move on to a, a, a bigger house down the road, um, they're gonna they're gonna have a good investment on their hands, and that's just a great thing to get to experience with a client, you know, especially with a first time home buyer. Um, they, they just sort of they want it all, and I, I felt very excited for them, and so yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully, you learned a little bit more about showing a uh, showing specialist and what that means. Um, I, I really think that 
probably it's one of the most valuable pieces to anyone that's starting to look for a house. Because if you were shopping in the spring, um, I'm not going to speak. I actually, I'll, I'll speak for you. If you were shopping in the spring, your agent only has so much time in the day. And for you to get into a house as quickly as possible is imperative to you getting that house. Because if you don't see it, a lot of people are forced to make offers sight unseen because the house isn't going to last more than a day. If they waited long enough to, to look at it before they decided to write an offer, it was too late. It was already too late. And so I think that a showing specialist is absolutely essential. Um, and that being said, if you are an agent who's only working with a, with a buyer, two buyers, three buyers at a time, you know, you know your capacity. But if you haven't thought about a showing specialist, it's worth considering because it can really take your business to the next level. And I truly believe that. Philip, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Until next time, this has been Open House.